Hey guys, we're uh, we're out here. Um, we got a video ourselves for the time being because uh, because the the lady of the house has an. Oh come now, that's sad. Be happy, have an airplane. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the the lady of the house is is busy with the new acquisition. So so Caleb's no longer the only one. Um, anyway, we got something out here that's a little unique that we're gonna try and show off. Let's see here. Yeah, that is a rather old-looking airplane. You can see where tissue's been eaten out by um, by silverfish. Well, that's good, Caleb. Do that again. Um, even has a cool tail wheel and all this. You'll notice uh, we're sh <laughs> we didn't use balsa sheeting here. We used paper. So, yeah. So uh, if if you haven't figured out. This is not a new airplane. This airplane was built in, um, I think, early 2002. I think is when I built it. Not not sure exactly. This is the original serial number one, the first Max out. So uh, that is not the original propeller for it. The original propeller is sitting somewhere in a um, uh, um, if it's not a housing development yet, it's still in the woods uh, on the front of Justin's, the remains of Justin Steedley's Max Out 4, which was the prototype Max Out 4. Um, okay, let's get those out of there. Don't put those back there. <laughs> I'm trying to store the planes in the bushes. So, anyway, let's, uh, let's get started with flying this. Alright, so we're going to try a, a test glide here. This has not been flown in who knows when. I'm trying to record left handed. This is not. Oh, yeah. That actually looked pretty good. Let's try this once more. So I've got, uh, I've got six, or sorry, four strains of 332nd in here. Scraped down PEC 7 inch, which was what I always flew this airplane on right from the beginning. There we go. That looks good. All right, we'll proceed to apply a little. There you go. You gonna fly another one? They're all over here now. Nope. All right, we got hand lines on the the max out here. So let's see how this goes. Oh wow. Boy, does that bring back memories. Wow. All right, so just to be clear here, this airplane, um, these are the, you're, I did not test fly this beforehand, so it has been, um, it, it's been probably, oof, how many years, 12, 13 years since this has flown? It would have last flown, I think, in 2000, maybe in 2004, maybe, because that was when I stole the prop off of it, or was it? No, I stole the prop off of it in college, but I did not take it to college. So it probably last flew in 2004, so it's been... That's 14 years. Ha! <laughs> that's fun. Still in trim. Not bad. Guys, this is super awkward. <laughs> the, I don't have a metal peg back there, so I have to actually wind it that way. Oh, and I made a mess. I'm going to have to go off camera. We'll be back when we finish winding it. Um, I think we have a, an imitator, an imposter, an imitator. Yeah, <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> right, I got to move a little further upwind here. It's kind of breezy and this is a valuable airplane to me, so I don't want anything to, to happen to it. And the tissue is super brittle. I never doped it or anything, so it's really rough. All right, here goes. That was on uh, about... 300 turns, maybe. You can see it gets out of dodge. Uh, that may actually be a light, uh, a slight updraft right there. You can stop any time now, old girl. Wow. Goodness. <laughs> Alright, so there's some funny things here that uh, 
worth mentioning. I don't know if you can tell by the uh, shape of the airfoil. You can see we've got a, an under cambered airfoil here. Um, but the way this works is the ribs are all uh, 1 16th square. And the 1 16th square strip wrapped around a, um, it's, it's wrapped around a, um, basically a, a can. Um, like a, um, I think like a, a, a coffee can. And so I wet formed them and then cut them to size and then just laid a, uh, I guess this is a 1 16th square spar over the top. Is not a very strong wing um, and that was why I moved away from it. But I don't, I don't really understand what it is about this wing. But this wing works really well um, in terms of glide performance and I feel like we gave something up when we moved to the, to the new airfoils on the Max Outs. Um, that's kind of a problem because I, I feel like they don't fly quite as well. I mean, you saw there, that was only on a few turns. This thing just, just takes off and it's always been that way. Uh, all the max outs that we did, the, the curved airfoils were like that. And I feel like the, the newer ones just, they don't have quite that, that hang to them. Um, but the problem is, it's not as strong of an airfoil. And people look at it and are like, are you serious? Is that seriously your airfoil? You just took a these curves and then slapped a piece of 1 16th across the top? Yeah, actually I did. And somehow it worked. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Time for some more experiments. So, yeah, there you go. Crazy El Cheapo airfoil. I didn't even airfoil the stab. I mean, I just glued a spar on top of it. How ghetto was that? I got more to yammer on about this thing. So, um, this airplane was built probably around, probably around uh, December 2001, January 2002, something in that range. I turned 16 on January 10th of uh, 2002. Uh, why is that significant? Well, that's significant because uh, the evening of that day, um, I went for a flying lesson. Like I said, I turned 16. And at the end of that flying lesson, I thought my dad was having me taxi in kind of early in the lesson and instead he told me to stop the airplane and he got out and told me to go and fly on my own. So yeah, this airplane is kind of connected in with all that. A lot of things were happening in my life at that age. Uh, a lot of awesome things really. Um, very blessed. Uh, it was an exciting time, but also some things were happening in my model building. So one of the things that's kind of, I don't know if you can tell, the covering job on the flying surfaces, well at least the stab and the wing, not the rudder, is much better than the, wing, the covering job on the rudder and the fuselage. And that's because the, the fuselage and rudder there were built first. They were uh, a different scale, um, so the airplane was oversized. Because I made some mistakes there, so um, I was building this airplane for a for a contractor who was building some stuff for uh, for my parents, and um, he never showed up to collect it. So I cut the old wing and tail off. I don't know whatever became of them, but I put new uh, flying surfaces on them, and I tried something new. I covered the wing, and the tail. You can see I curled everything around the edges real nice. I used glue stick. I covered two airplanes that way. The second one was a Garami um, biplane. I don't remember the exact name of it. The experimental bipe or something like that. Real cute little airplane, but uh, I made some mistakes. My mistake was I let it get out in wet conditions and the tissue all peeled off of that airplane. So this airplane's the only one I've kept around that, that was like that. Unless I have the wings for the Max Out 2, which is possible, but that's another story. Anyway, um, yeah, so this airplane was the first one that I did a really, really bang up covering job on the flying surfaces. I know it doesn't show it now because they've been damaged and repaired so, so much. But it was a good covering job. Um, and uh, so yeah, this airplane was the beginning of a lot of trends in, in all of that. It was the last airplane I did this paper nonsense here. Um, so yeah, probably one of the last airplanes where I used a, like a wooden peg back here. Because I was going over to aluminum after that. Anyway, let's get one last flight on uh, 650 turns. Let me reposition here. Alright, here it goes on 650 turns. Oh, look at you. Notice it does not really stall easily. That is a distinctive of some of the early Max Out variants. Now, where'd it go? I lost it. 
Oh, there it is. Gonna get into major trouble there at this rate. Maybe not. Ah, it's gliding now. Look at that beautiful glide. It's probably going in the trees, unfortunately. And I lost it again. Oh, there it is. Ah, and down safely. All right, folks. That's uh, that's kind of your installment on the the Max Out, the the original prototype Max Out one. There were only two of those ever built. Um, maybe I'll build another. Who knows? We'll see. Try to recreate the seven gram one. That was insane. Anyway, y'all. Uh, I'll see y'all later. Bye.